This butterfly had a broken wing, so we decided to fix it. This sounds such a crazy thing to do that my friends didn't even believe me to start with. But keep watching and let's see how it all worked out. I thought you were joking. You thought I was joking. So this one has a broken wing. And it can't fly. And it can't fly. Should we try to put it on a flower again to see how hungry it is? It was so hungry that it started drinking as soon as we put it on a flower. Look, his proboscis is coming out already. Look at it drinking. So he's very hungry? He's very hungry because he hasn't been able to fly probably for a few days. With only a stump as a right forewing, he couldn't flutter around like the other butterflies. It would only be a matter of hours before he starved or was eaten by ants on the ground. See, it's trying to flap, to trying to fly, but it just doesn't have a wing to fly. We had to do something. So we decided to give this butterfly a new wing. Let's see if it worked. First, we had to immobilize the butterfly so that it kept still and didn't flap around while we were attaching its new wing. Well, look guys. Just see, I'm gonna. If there's so little stump left, I have to work with that. I might just put a. I don't wanna damage its leg. You're like a surgeon. Okay. <laughs> Let me, so I, I want to hold it down but keep this, this swing free because that's what I'm working on. Hopefully, it works. We'll have to wait and see. We put out some glue on the table to start drying and found a donor wing from a butterfly that had died naturally in the greenhouse. Next, I put some glue on both of the wing surfaces and then gently press them together, carefully lining up the new wing and the old stump. Guys, you're not looking. <laughs> the operation, the transplant is happening now. Do you think this is going to work? I hope so. Let's see if the better one can fly. So I'm getting the other wing. Oh, it needs to be separate. It needs to be separate. Because it needs otherwise... to be able to flap separately. So I want to stick that to just the, just that stump of the top wing. After letting the glue dry for about an hour, we removed the coverings. Now it's time for the crucial test. Is it going to fly? It's one new wing, a little bit smaller. Wow. But we'll see if it works. Oh, it looks pretty good to me. To start with, our butterfly can only flap its wings pretty clumsily. Our hopes are still high, but it's definitely going to take some learning before it can fly. Because it had probably sat on the ground for a couple of days, I decided to give this butterfly a drink of an artificial honey solution, hoping to get its energy up so it might get strong enough to fly. So I'm just uncurling its proboscis to sit on there. Put another bit on top. Try and get it to drink. That's drinking just to get some energy. After he had finished drinking, we decided to encourage our butterfly to have another go at flapping his wings. While he still couldn't gain altitude, he made terrific progress. 
At least he could fly this time, albeit only a short distance. <laughs> After giving him a few chances to start practicing using his new wing and to start exercising his muscles, we brought in our butterfly friend to keep him safe for the night. The next day, as it was sitting on a leaf, one of its friends came and fluttered around as if to say, come on, let's go. And then, finally, the moment came. It flew. The site we had been dreaming of for two days had now finally arrived. The butterfly that had been sitting on the ground with just a stub of a forewing left, not able to fly, without hope, was now fluttering around the pentis, dipping its proboscis into each and every tube to get a sweet sip of nectar. landed straight back on my shoulder. Maybe, just maybe, he was saying thank you in advance. Mm -hmm. 